Are you worried that you might be too old to get into technology? If you're looking to switch careers and technology looks interesting, but you're worried that it might be too late for you to get into it, this video is for you. I get these questions a lot. Am I too old to get into tech? Am I too old to learn how to code? And is it too late for me to switch careers? The short answer is no. Let me explain why and help you determine whether tech is right for you, because that's a much better question to be asking in this case. Technology is a wonderful industry, but it has a ton of stereotypes around it. For example, if you hear the word programmer or that somebody is a programmer without knowing anything else about that person, who do you imagine? Like, what image comes to mind? It is very likely that you will think of a young, asocial male, right? Well, that is the stereotype. This stereotype has been ingrained in us because since the 1970s, the majority of employees in technology have been men. But before that, women were the majority of employees in software. I have a separate video on that if you'd like to learn more about it. So I will leave a link to it in the description. Don't spend too much time on those stereotypes because it's unproductive. Focus much more on what you can bring to the table and what you want from your next career move. Technology is all about problem solving and the best way and the most efficient way to solve problems is by having a diverse team, which includes the diversity of age. If anything, you have so much value and so much experience and a different perspective that if you apply it strategically, can bring so much value to the table. All right, now that we've established that the technology industry needs you, let's briefly talk about ageism in the workplace. Unfortunately, it hasn't entirely disappeared and still exists in certain companies with backwards values and hiring practices. However, there are plenty of companies that have moved past that type of discrimination and have implemented fair hiring practices. And in fact, in certain places, especially in the US, it's illegal to ask uh, the job candidate about their age during any stage of the interviews. I know that in the US, for example, it's, it varies state by state. So do your research whether it is legal to ask this question where you live. So don't let that idea stop you from pursuing your dreams or becoming an excuse of why you're not taking any steps towards it. If you're determined, you will find a company that truly values your experience and your skills. Besides, with working from home becoming the new normal, your pool of potential career opportunities and job opportunities has widened so much. You can now apply to so many more remote positions in companies that value diversity and have inclusive company cultures. Again, you have so much value to offer these companies and it's all about how you position yourself and your experience and previous knowledge. I've done an interview with three wonderful women in technology who don't have a technical background, but decided to go into tech and are using their previous um, experience to their advantage to find a niche and a competitive edge. I will leave a link to our interview in the description. Now, the bigger question is, is technology right for you? It might look shiny and like a great opportunity from the outside, but do you understand what some of the roles will entail? Have you done your research on what's out there and do you understand what you want to do? Whenever anybody asks me about what tech field they should choose for themselves, I respond with a bunch of questions. What are you interested in? What lights you up? What makes you curious and puts you into the stage of flow? And what problems do you like to solve? Hello, hello. Do you know what roles and what directions in tech will make you happy? Because that's where I would recommend starting. And it might be difficult as an outsider to the tech world to know what it's like on the inside. However, there's such a wealth of information out there on the internet that you can do your research on. You can follow people on social media, you can uh, search and research job opportunities and different companies and all of that stuff. Really try to dive in deep and really do your research because it's super important to find out what will light you up, what will be a fun job for you, what will be a great opportunity for you in tech, not 
you know, how do you fit the tech world? How will, f how will the tech world fit you? Do your research on what jobs are out there and follow people who are on those, in those roles on social media. You can also reach out to them and ask specific questions about the roles. If you don't know where to start on your research, I will leave some helpful resources and some links in the description. And I will also create a video on how to do your research on potential job opportunities on this topic at some point soon. So watch out for that. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already. During this exploration stage, use free coding courses to find out what languages are out there and try them out for yourselves to see what you are in, what you enjoy and what you maybe don't enjoy, to understand some of the concepts, to really feel what it would be like to work in the tech industry and maybe in the role that you're looking at. The reason why I think free coding courses are the best way to go right now is because I don't want you to invest money into this unless you know that you want to pursue this path. And there's so many awesome free resources available out there. And I have a list of free coding courses out there, which I will leave a link to in the description as well. Explore, experiment, and look for the signs of something that you really enjoy doing. Be open-minded though, because programming is a different way of thinking and it, you shouldn't be afraid to feel like a beginner and a newbie. Your goal right now is to figure out what direction you would like to take if you were to go into the tech industry. That is key here. And maybe you will find that you're actually not interested in going into the technology industry after all, and that is okay as well. The main point right now is to eliminate uncertainty and all of those what ifs. However, if you do find the right field for you, start learning and building your skills in that direction. You want to be a great candidate first and foremost. Don't focus on your age too much and simply learn. It's most likely not going to be super easy, especially if you're learning in your free time after a full-time job, but it is absolutely possible. That's how a lot of self-taught programmers have done it. And in fact, I have a playlist of interviews with self-taught programmers, which I will leave in the description for you to watch. I want to reiterate this though. Make sure that you're excited about the direction of your career change and that you have done your research and you understand what it will entail. This process will not be a walk in the park and you might come close to giving up. So that's why it's important that the opportunity excites you and that you see the light at the end of the tunnel. It makes all of the hard work worth it in the end. And if at any point you have a tough time deciding between two or more different directions and choices, I have a separate video that will help you make the right decision for you. I will also leave it in the description or the link to it in the description. And no matter what career change you decide on, try to find people who have either gone through the same experience or are going through this experience right now as well. Having a supportive community will elevate your experience to the next level, help you feel less stressed and less alone and less of a failure and help you build incredible relationships. Search online for different groups with people who are changing careers or who have changed careers to find like-minded people that will understand you. And there's so many different types of those. For example, there's a community for moms who are learning how to code and who are um, entering the tech field after they had their babies. And on social media, you will find all sorts of accounts and groups, whether on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, or other social platforms. Finally, I want you to implement a no excuses policy. I'm too old for something is an excuse that a lot of people use to hide from their fears. Whether it's a fear of not being good enough, a fear of rejection, or a fear of standing out. Excuses are our brain's way of rationalizing why we can't do something that we're afraid of doing. And our brains don't like change because change, any change, right? It can put our survival at risk, or at least it did thousands of years ago. Risks in the modern world are not the same. So if you really want to achieve something, figure out what it is that you're afraid of, 
and look that fear in the eye. Emergency exits. Stop making excuses because what's the worst thing that can happen? You might get rejected, but your survival chances certainly will not change. Don't wait or procrastinate. Start acting on your dreams right now because you don't want to wake up in 10 or 20 or 30 years from now and regret not having pursued them. Now is always the best time. Let me know what background you're coming from and whether you've figured out what it is that you want to do in tech, what direction and maybe even what role would be right for you. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, share with a friend who is also thinking about a career change and might be having these doubts, and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. We can also be friends on other social media, you can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye!